I've had a lot of questions about string alignment and uh, like what to do with it, where to put it, how it's supposed to look, when to use it. Um, and so in today's video, I'm just gonna cover, you know, basic string alignment, how I would do it, how I suggest to do it, and a couple of really important things to make sure that you don't do with your string alignment. If you're new here, my name's Jake Kaminsky. I'm a two-time Olympic silver medalist in the sport of archery. We're going to make this channel a great resource to all types of archery. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the notification bell. So that way you'd know when I upload new videos, I'm uploading a lot and trying to make you a better archer. If I draw anything moving forward, this is for a right-handed shooter, as you can see. This is my riser and this is my sight pin, okay? If you were left-handed, it'd be opposite. So just mirror everything that I'm saying, if you would. Now, string alignment itself, when do you set it first? In my opinion, I set my string alignment after I have come to anchor, and because I use Coach Lee's method, the KSL method, or the, you know, the NTS system, I, after I am transferring, I am starting to quick check my string alignment. Generally speaking, my string alignment is always in the same place, so I don't have to really adjust my head at all because I've shot hundreds of thousands of arrows the same way over and over and over, so it's just automated to me. But what I would suggest to people who have not shot that many arrows yet is to basically, as you're coming up into anchor and as you start to get into your transfer or as you start settling into the, your shot, if you don't uh, transfer, is you should start, you should quick reference your string alignment and make sure that it is where it's supposed to be. Quick focus on the target and use eye, um, eye focus to aim properly, like I suggest. If you haven't seen a video about how to aim, I'll put a link in the description below, plus I'll put a card at the top here is where you can check that out. But basically, um, after I am anchoring, while I am transferring, I am setting my string alignment and I am starting to aim. Now, where do you put your string? It's really not specifically important where you put the string other than the guideline of do not look through the bow. Put the string towards this side of the sight pin. Don't put it on this side, okay? So what does that mean? That means if I have my string alignment, and if this is my blur of my string, obviously it's a little big, as long as it's on this side of the sight pin, that's great. Don't put it on this side. Generally speaking, if you've put it on this side, your uh, alignment's gonna be off or your head tilt is gonna be uh, really not in an ideal position. What I mean by not looking through the bow is if I have my sight pin here and I put my string on this side of the bow, I'm looking past my bow. But if I have my sight pin here and my string is over here, I am now looking through the bow. So that's the general rule of thumb is don't look through the bow, put the string on the side and look past the bow. It's gonna be a bit more comfortable. You're gonna have a lot less um, eye fatigue over time. You're gonna have a lot less influence on the sun as it's changing position in the sky, which is extremely important in field archery. Or if you're shooting long days outside, as the sun is changing position in the sky, you're essentially going to have to really pay attention to your string alignment because the way the sun hits the string and goes into your eye and off the sight pin and off the target, that actually changes where you see and perceive items in space. So it's really important to make sure that you're not looking through the bow because then you have all sorts of stuff on both sides of your eyes that really are going to affect the way you see things in space and your sight position is gonna change dramatically throughout the day. So. Like I said, yes here, no here, all right? Now, where do you put your string alignment exactly? As long as you are not on this side, you're fine. You could put the string alignment next to the edge of the ring of your sight or on the edge of your uh, fiber optic or your dot or whatever it is, but it's not gonna be a definitive line. There is a blur. It's a really wide thing. So your string is gonna kinda look like this, all right? It's gonna be very definitive in the center and a bit more blurry on the edges because of the way we're perceiving it. So uh, the way I do it is I take the very edge of this blur where it starts and I would put it on the inside edge of my sight and then the rest of the blur goes this direction. I think that that is totally acceptable and totally okay to put your string alignment right there. However, as my career progressed, um, I really like to put my string alignment on something that would never move because as I got more proficient at shooting, I would adjust my sight a lot. And I wouldn't just, um, you know, basically say, oh, it's me, I'm making the mistakes and my sight is drifting back and forth. If I made my better shots, then the arrows would go in the middle. 
But over time, I've learned that if I just adjust my sight and throughout the day it progresses, I ended up shooting higher scores that way. So needless to say, what I'm suggesting is put your string alignment on the riser. That's where I like to put it. I actually put it on this edge of the riser, the far right edge. You can put it on the left edge. Whatever works more comfortable for you. But the whole idea and my theory on that was if I'm putting it on a stationary object, I'm not really changing my head position to align to change my string alignment all the time based on where my sight position was. So if I put it on my riser, it was set. That would never move. And then my sight pin moves in and out uh, depending on the conditions, depending on where the sun is in the sky, etc. If you're a bare bow shooter, obviously this doesn't matter and that's gone. And what you will be using is your arrow. It will come off of your arrow rest and your arrow point will be, you know, like that basically. And where I have been putting my string alignment on my bare bow is like, is very similar to the sight pin itself. I take the edge of this blur and I put it along the very edge of that point. And then I use, you know, if this is the 10 ring, I sit the 10 ring right there. And that's where I hold uh, and aim with my bare bow when I am string walking. So I put that string alignment and that string blur, the edge of the blur, right along that right edge of the arrow shaft and the arrow point itself, and then align my uh, point up on the target as I desire. So you can do it that way or this way. I prefer to put it there. I've just found it's a lot easier for me to get into position. I'm not changing my center shot as I'm shooting, so as far as I'm concerned, that's a stationary object and it will never move. It is closer to where I am aiming with, so it's easier to keep reference. Um, and you know, that's the way I prefer it. So that's where I would suggest to put your string alignment and when to do your string alignment. Now, something that you really need to make sure that you do not do, do not lose or change your string alignment as you are executing the shot. So as you are pulling through the clicker, as you are trying to set the bow off, as you are holding your bare bow still, do not let that string alignment change because if it is changing then essentially you're taking your sight on the target and moving your sight left or right of center instead of holding it in the center of the target because you have to have two references a front sight and a rear sight in order to have accuracy and alignment with the bow so if your back sight is constantly changing that means your arrow path and your arrow trajectory is going to constantly change as well it's a very common thing to have happen if you're not used to paying attention to it all you have to do is stare at the target and just keep an eye, per se, on that blur and see if that blur is changing or moving as you're setting the clicker off. It should not change at all. A good solid hard anchor will help prevent that. Um, and definitely I would recommend a very strong anchor to help prevent moving your string alignment on execution. If you were to ask me over the last three years of my career, maybe five years or more, I would tell you, if you asked me, hey, where's your string alignment? I'd say, well, I don't know, Be honestly, because my anchor was so consistent, it was so strong, it never changed. And every single time I looked at my string alignment, it was always in the same place. It happened to be on the riser, but I did not actually physically put it on the riser and keep it there. When I checked to make sure I wasn't moving it or I wasn't making a mistake and changing position with it, it was always there and it never deviated throughout the shot. So. If you can, as you get more and more proficient and you shoot more and more, string alignment will start to become less and less important as long as you are maintaining your structure and your form every single time, all the time. Now, that only comes with hundreds of thousands of arrows and lots and lots of repetition, but I just wanted to make that quick note at the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you want to become a Patreon supporter or check out books, apparel, and some seminar info, head to jkaminski.com, and uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you again.